Shulman and Jay Billy Stanton. All right, Bob, thank you. Baylor with an overtime win over West Virginia. It's Michigan and Illinois. Number two, Wolverines. Number four, Illini tied at 10 in a low-scoring game. And it's actually picked up a little bit the last couple of minutes after it was off to a really slow start. Look at film. And imagine if you're a big guy like Dickinson and your head coach is Jawan Howard. You know, who had played 19 years as a big guy in the NBA and, of course, played for the Fab Five as well. Imagine all you can learn from a guy like you. Oftentimes, when you get those ball screen eyes, just go with it. Take it to the baseline, throw back, and then play out of the throwback. Smith off to Dickinson. Driving on Coburn, doesn't get the bounce. Hopefully they do. Better defense after the timeout by Michigan rallying to the ball, and that's what they do so well. They're very connected on the defensive end. But one thing Michigan really does defensively is they don't overhelp. So they stunt their their good pass. Good patience by Dickinson. Same set they've been running, Dan. Just a, a simple horn set with Coburn out top. And when you come off that rub screen, he just rolls right in the middle of the lane. It's four round one. And he's been dominant in that set. Dickinson, who sat for a few minutes with two fouls in the first half, each of them playing with three fouls. And they went right back to that horn set. And a horn set is two up top, two in the corners. And they just rub off of little rub screen off of Kofi Coburn and he rolls down into the post and just rolls Hunter Dickinson down right under the basket. Dickinson the miss, loose ball and Coburn run and still don't know if Livers is right. He's going to stay in the game but he came out favoring his right leg a few minutes ago and uh, may still not be back to 100 percent. And remember they got a busy week. They got Michigan State twice Thursday and Sunday. That would just play a doubleheader. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Like a day-night doubleheader. Be like baseball, yeah. Yeah. Do they still call them twine? Uh, it'd be fun to computer simulate some sort of a three-point competition between all those guys in their primes. Yeah, you, I'm, I'm in. Uh, I'm in the Steph Curry is yeah. the best shooter ever. Yeah. He made one last night. I don't know if you saw it on Sports Center. Just you know, four dribbles. Came in ready for a street fight, and they took the fight to. Michigan really from the very beginning Illinois has out rebounded Michigan 39 to 22 Dickinson spinning around Coburn too strong Davis in the circle Michigan and Indiana and they are underway from Bloomington and right now, Indiana goes, Johnson goes, a little man to man. All right, Michigan. Screens. Michigan defeated number nine, Iowa, 79-57 on Wednesday in Ann Arbor. Dickinson first shot off the mark. The Wolverines outscored. Oh, closed by the double at the other end. It goes both ways, Gus. Dickinson fighting for the rebound. Steps on the baseline out as Indiana takes an 8-5 to five lead. And Gus, he's dangerous out there on the perimeter. Stretches the D, gets entry passes to the post. Dickinson guarded by Jackson Davis. Backs him down across the lane. Drop step left hand off the glass. Also, such a difficult thing to handle. Dickinson, a graduate of the legendary DeMaxa program in that D.C. area. His little reset there. Brooks finds a big fella. Jump hook inside. No. Race Thompson swooping it. Rivers posting. Pumping. Thompson with the block. Seven to shoot. Inside. Dickinson. Catch and run. Floor drives. Creates space. Pivots. Fighting inside. No. Back to the round. Dickinson. Kept it up high. Last touch by the Wolverine. Back to the zone. Lander, can he hit another one? Rims off. Delivers the other way. Dickinson making himself big down low. Well defended. No, I was looking for a reset. Reload in the post area, kick it out, dig a little bit with that body, and give a big touch to Davis. Lander. 
He's got a lot of enthusiasm for a freshman, but he's shooting 28% from the three-point line. Inside Dickinson. And a left hand hook shot goes. Just slipping and losing the ball. And pin down. A little hide and seek here. Dickinson, are they going to double team him again? Not this time. A little. Them kind of the administrative things. Bogner inside. And Wilkes can't reverse it. Dickinson with the strong rebound and stick. Certain teams it's not. The last trip, Hunter threw it to the baseline side where the defense was. Iowa was, a, Iowa was a perfect example of that. They really mm -hmm. feed Luca Garza well. Absolutely. There's Connor McCaffrey. I think he's going to put him on the payroll where he gets him the ball. Nice entry. Experienced guard. Putting on a dick into the rim. 69 to 55, Michigan. Now Dickinson, quick turn on the baseline, gets to the hole, lays it in, and uh, every aspect of the game. Wagner going up high, plucks it down. Michigan's got two big games at the end of the season against an improving Michigan State squad. The Big Ten tournament has been moved from Chicago to Indianapolis and the entire NCAA tournament will be played in Indy. So you're going to have a good, good time, Coach Rapp, doing that NCAA yeah. tournament. Now this Big Ten tournament is going to be just incredible. High level of teams night in and night out. Right. And Dick wins the first battle of the night. Yeah, Dickinson did a great job. Held his own right there defensively. They played against each other a lot during a pandemic last year. Look at him stepping out, Dickinson. We about three years apart, but they got to know each other. They played against each other. And as Dick said, during the lockdown in the summer months, they worked out together frequently. They are good friends. But Hunter Dickinson said yesterday in Zoom call with the media, it's kind of radio. And Coburn back into the game. So you got seven foot two eighty five against seven one two fifty five down low. Rubello, the high scorer in the game with eleven, picking up the slack for the injured Desumu, keeping the ball on a string. Now into Coburn, and about the best position he's had all night to open up the second half for Michigan. It's a smart play by Mike Smith. Didn't take it too far. Illinois was in drop coverage on that side pick and roll. Kofi Coburn did not stay connected to Dickinson. And Dickinson for Ohio State, Illinois, looking at four and seven. I mean, it seems like every Big Ten game is a top ten matchup. It's ridiculous how good this league is. If the Big Ten gets four, one, or two seats, which is very possible, that is something that, that would be the first time that's ever happened. Coburn inside, follows it up and two. John's off the mark. I guess that's where they hurt you though with that. You have to scramble defensively if you double the ball. Didn't get hurt that time. Jackson Davis, and he buries another jump shot. Well, they've gone under twice, and he sticks it. They got to show a little bit and fight over. Jackson Davis now facing Dickinson. Jackson Davis double pump, no. Couple of good coaches in his career. That's for sure. Jackson Davis driving. That's a brick. Drum Hunter the other way. Remember, they're playing without Armand Franklin, Indiana, who has a right foot injury. And they whistle. It would be tough to compete with, wouldn't you agree? Oh, very tough. Coach Beeline was just a yeah. wonderful coach. Is a wonderful coach, period. Hopefully he'll be getting back into college basketball soon. Here's Davis, guarded by Dickinson, turns to his strong side. 
That's a brick. I'm going to name that Freshman of the Week award after him. Seven times he's been the Freshman of the Week in the Big Ten. <laughs> Grace Thompson. Thompson, top of the key. Hunter with a rebound, but has it taken away by... Shogu at both ends of the floor as senior Eli Brooks knocks down the first shot of the game. Brooks one of the heralded players. Veteran player can make shots. He defends an elite defender as well. Iowa scores better than 86 points per game. They're in the top five in so many different offensive categories nationwide. Great shooters surrounding a guy like Garza. And Garza unable to really move Dickinson. His own right there defensively. They played against each other a lot during a pandemic last year. Look at him stepping out, Dickinson. Yeah, a Hunter Dickinson, Luca Garza, both from the greater Washington, D.C. area. Garza from D.C., Dickinson from Alexandria, Virginia. They played in the same AAU program. Now, obviously, about three years apart, but they got to know each other. They played against each other, and as Dick said, during the... Absolutely. They got two games coming up with uh, Michigan. I'll be doing one of the two. And I'll tell you, they win one of those two, and you add Ohio State, are you going to be two teams that are seeded number one? I mean, come on now. That's going to put you in pretty good shape. I got something for you. You see two number one seeds there out of the Big Ten, projected by Joe, Joe Lenardi, and two number two seeds. Taking the place of DeSumo, the freshman's got to make good decisions. Five point a lion I lead, Dan and Dick. All right, Kevin, guys, thank you very much. And Curbelo is a terrific freshman, as the guys mentioned. But Dick Ayo DeSumo is out of the lineup uh, indefinitely is the last that I saw with a facial injury, which has been reported in some circles as a broken nose that he suffered near the end of the Michigan State game. Uh, well, Adi Sissoko hit him and, and got tossed out of the game. Got a got a flagrant two. Got it. I tell you what, Smith and Wagner, Smith made that play. His penetration abilities, quickness getting up and down the court. What a great asset he's been to the Michigan program. You got a factor in their veterans. This is a veteran basketball team. When you talk about guys like Smith, who's played, fifth year player, other than Dickerson. I mean, you got Brooks and Livers. These guys have been around. And then Garza swats away the reverse attempt by Brooks. Good defensive play on the interior by Garza. He wants the ball right now. Waited too long. If you need a post, there's a law start. Get the ball to the interior. You got to hit the guy at the right time. Yeah, oh, a little one-on-one nice one going there. on here. Here it goes. Yeah. And we gave offensively. Look at Jawan Howard. Jawan told me today there's no doubt in his mind that guards that can play at the next level, coming off the bench for a team, give him some help as a post player. I mean, come on. Now, use those big guys, step them out to shoot threes. Right. The concern, of course, is, you know, quickness at the defensive yeah. end, so much athleticism in the NBA, but you're, you're not going to outwork Luka Garza, that we know. Jump hook off the glass, no good, rebound liver out of the bubble with just a couple of weeks to go. That's why these games are important. What a nice play. Again, I put them with the passing ability of Dickinson. He made that possible for Wagner, and Wagner's shooting ability converts him. But what a nice look from the post to find the open shooter. It's a one good lead. Yep. They are ranked third in the nation. Of course, Gonzaga and Baylor have been one two the entire season. Both of them still undefeated. Garza again trying to back down Dickens again in a top ten matchup of the Wolverines, taking a three point lead into the second half. Dickinson spins, but it won't go down. And back comes McCaffrey for the Hawkeyes. And he used the right hand right there. McCaffrey really could pass the basketball. Led the nation last year to assist the turnover ratio. Understands how to play. Mm -hmm. And he and Jordan place. Bohannon are both in the top ten in assist to turnover ratio this year. And C.J. Frederick blows both of them away, but he doesn't have enough assists to qualify. As Garza gets inside, can finish, and it's... And somehow Dickinson comes up with it again. Boy, this is some wild stuff at both ends. The big guys are having trouble finishing. But well, Garza won that battle there defensively. He can shoot it. Cancer. Just go to dickvitale.com and you can get an autographed copy. I'll tell you, we need a lot of help in that area. Amazing, Dick, how tireless you are.
uh, and how determined you are. You never let a day go by, and, and uh, so many people owe you a debt of gratitude. Garza on Dickinson. Uh, what what execution, though? They did, they're really moving the ball, getting player movement, ball movement. They're a well-coached basketball team. Yeah. Well-coached. Every single game that you watch Michigan play, and I know you've watched a bunch, I've watched a bunch, you always walk out of it saying they play hard and they share the basketball. They do those two things. Would be a good choice. How about nice this spot. Yeah. Wow. What a second half for Franz Wagner. He's really showed it all tonight. If you're an NBA scout, you got to be impressed, man. His passing ability, his driving ability, will he shoot the three? He's done it all. What more do you want? He's Mr. Versatility. Multi-dimensional. Look at this defense by Shawnee Brown. Fighting through screens, staying in front of Bohannon. And now it's going to be a travel called on Garza. Inside, Washington has it, and here come the Buckeyes. As we said, seven consecutive wins. They've won 10 of 11. And I think the key guy is Kyle Young. He does a great job screening, directing traffic, gets the signals from the bench, and very active on the glass. Outside, this beautiful shot. Barnes is their three-point shooter. He has been terrific. He draws a lot of attention working on the perimeter. There he is on the left side. And here is Liddell. That's a three. Nice collapse to the defense with the 